Holy crap, we're back. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Good Goose Podcast, where we talk about all the d- c- 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 crazy stuff. It's been a minute. It's been years. Minutes, yeah. Wait, uh, like minutes as in, as in months. It's been actual months. It's been... A- Zach, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I was able to crawl out of the cave that I had been trapped in for for a while. And uh, Where was this cave? This is a bathroom. Were there? Oh, I was. I was gonna say, what? You've been in the bathroom for months. <laughs> this whole time, yeah. Damn, you need to change up your diet like now. Yeah, less bananas. Do bananas like? Wait, are do bananas like make you constipated? Do they actually make you constipated? No, they don't make you constipated. They just make you. You gotta poop. Oh, oh, so let the opposite. Yeah. Gotcha. They actually advise that if you are constipated, bananas help. <laughs> Oh, I, why why do I not know this? I, I I just learned like a new word yesterday playing on stream. Uh I was playing Wind Waker. Uh and whenever you have to like like move across a ledge mm, yeah. apparently, do you know what that word is? Sidle? Yeah, sidle. So you knew the word. Yeah, but I only knew it because it's a a word that is almost exclusively in current times used in video games like that's how i know it is from video games oh okay so you've seen it from not just wind waker but like in other video games and stuff yeah yeah. it's always like in a tutorial like if you approach a, a small ledge uh, uh, instead of jumping you can sidle along the, the side of the wall so it's sidle not siddle i always pronounce it as sidle sidle, sidle makes sense because you're like you're going from side to side yeah like little little, little crab uh sylvester stallone and cliffhanger <laughs> yeah um well we have a lot to catch up on zach uh so many things are, are happening not only tonight uh but also that have been happening in the last couple of weeks do you have any major events or or life life things that you can share that you would like to share about uh, your life i did i did um i think the last time you know eons ago we, we were talking i uh i mentioned the uh the new computer i was building and I uh, was just missing a graphics card, and I was able to get that. So now I am, I am coming to you all from a newly built computer, more or less. You do look fancier. You do look sharper. I will say. That's not because of the graphics card. That's because I actually have decent lighting on me today. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. You, you've got you've got front lighting, and you you, you look nice. You look dapper, yeah. if I do say now, so. Uh, it's it's funny that we bring up the lighting because you'll recall the last time I was talking about this, the reason why it was not well lit for a while is because I had that specific lamp, the ring light that didn't that was not a ring light, and I kind of shit talked that that company a little bit. Yep. While on here, I still don't think it works as intended, but so far what I've discovered is uh, initially when it stopped working on me. I was using the, just the USB, like I was plugging it. There's a couple outlets that we have that just use the USB ports. Yeah. And I was just plugging the USB from the light into that port because I figured that's got to work, right? And it kind of did, but then it stopped working. Well, ever since I've attached it to a brick and using an AC adapter, it seems to be working fairly regularly. So I don't want to jinx that, but... You know, it, it's not a total loss, you know. Sure. I, I, so I, uh, I don't even remember the name of the company. I'm sure they're fine. But uh, if you want to reach out and uh, uh, demand recompense, I won't give it to you. But, yeah. Well, uh, but you're you're upgrading your, your technology. You're, you're, you're making it to where it looks a little bit nicer. It's about damn time, as as the kids are saying these days. You know, mm-hmm. from some sort of popular song, uh, I, I've been told. Well, uh, a lot of crazy things have been happening to me, Zach. Thank you for asking. I was gonna, I was gonna ask. Were, were you? Were you? Were, yes, were, I was. I was. I was letting I, you finish as an active listener because I'm not just gonna be like, okay, stop in the middle of your response that you're giving to me right now. I don't give a shit about what you have to say. Say something different to me. Who talks to other people like that? This is this is why we haven't recorded in a while. It's definitely not any other reason. Now, um, so I rewatched 
I say rewatched, but I, ha- I hadn't seen most of them. Uh, I watched the entire Rocky series leading into Creed 3. Uh, just a quick recap. Rocky 1, pretty classic. Not too bad. A little slow. Rocky's kind of a scumbag in that one. Very, very like looking at it with 2023 vision. Not vision. 2023 lens. Uh, yes. <laughs> what One's a little worse. One's a little wonky. Um, much like Rocky's eyes. Uh, but... <laughs> So I it's it's looking at it with a lens of 2023, like ugh, some of the stuff is like he's kind of being kind of creepy and forceful against Adrian, but not too bad overall as a movie. Overall, it's pretty wholesome. Uh, Creed 2 is I don't remember Creed 2. I was very, very high. Um, and I just remember it being like long. It took like six years to finish. It was a very long like it's very sad uh, and it gets even sadder. Rocky three is great. Mr. T is way over the top as he is prone to be. Is Mr. T still alive? Is Mr. T still alive? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's still alive. What's, 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 what is Mr. T doing nowadays? I think he does a lot of charity work and stuff. Hold on. I I got my tablet here. Mr. T born Lawrence Turo, May 21st, 1952. So he is 70 years old, 71 years old, right? That math checks out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for A team, all that kind of stuff. I'm trying to scroll over to it like it's connected to my freaking. Where is he? Where is he now? Where in the world is Mr. T? He's deeply religious Christian, which is not what I would have guessed, and has made regular appearances on TBC. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, Rocky Four is better. <laughs> It's probably the best set of the original Rocky movies because uh, Rocky five is just terrible. I, I get what they were trying to do with him, like train, trying to train uh, uh, the next generation. So but Rocky Balboa, right? that's five. No, that's six okay. slash uh, kind of a mid cool in between Ro- yeah. the Rocky and Creed franchise because it, it, it brings up uh Milo Ventimiglia playing his Rocky Jr. And he's like, I don't want to, ha- I don't want to have anything to do with you, dad. I love you, dad, but I don't want to do anything with you. Anyway, uh, Rocky Balboa is pretty good, but it's got that, like, do you remember in the mid 2000s where everything was like very blue and very grainy? Yes. Yeah. And it had a lot of like lens flares and shit. And I'm like, come on. Yeah. And I was, I was going to say the naming convention alone signifies yeah pretty pretty heavily like where and the timeline it's falling because it's like right around that time where studios were like we have to make sure there's name recognition but we want to make sure that it's not there like we have to get away from numbers well numbers are like poison for movie on audiences because they'll see friday the 13th part six and be like i haven't seen the first five parts well and and that's the trap that i fall into and i'll get into that here in a minute but uh i know that sly uh, i call him sly we're best friends um wanted to distance the rocky balboa remake requel thing with uh rocky five because he absolutely hated rocky five uh looking back on it so he's like fuck that let's start over and then they did rocky balboa and they're like all right that'll be a great end cap to his story and it kind of was uh, and because it was the whole theme of rocky balboa was like l- just move forward uh, don't look back kind of thing um adrian dies off screen from woman cancer for woman cancer is how rocky describes it in that way and that's just uh. There he is again, that creepy guy. You mean to tell me that Sylvester Stallone is not the paragon of sensitivities? Well, he gets hit in the head a lot. Let's let's yeah, cut him some slack. Yeah. Uh, he should be dead. Um, then Creed one and Creed two, I I did watch a uh, Creed one. I was watching while I was donating plasma, and I don't know if that like contributed to like me feeling more towards Michael B. Jordan's uh. Adonis Creed and everything because I was literally getting the blood drain from me. I'm bleeding. <laughs> Connection. Oh my god. Creed 2. It's like we're brothers. <laughs> Creed 2 was pretty good because it brought back Dolph Lundgren as uh, uh, if he dies, he dies. I forgot what his name is. Uh, Draco. Uh, 
Dra uh, Drago, Drago, Dra not Draco. That's that's the kid from Harry Potter. <laughs> Malfoy comes in. Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> Uh, but it brought him back because uh, Drago now has a kid and they're doing a spinoff series uh, based on the Drago kid, uh, which is cool because he comes back in Creed 3. Creed 3, now in theaters, which is the whole reason why I wanted to go see this. or uh, to I wanted to watch all of the previous Rocky movies, not only because I hadn't, but also because I wanted to get any references I could miss from the previous Rocky movies yeah. of the last 40 years. The rich tapestry of cinema half half of the rocky movies could just be like ignored entirely for the I creed mean, movies let's, let's be real like the the con general conceit of the rocky movies past one was rocky's the american hero and yeah he beat up the foreigner essentially you know like there's only one foreigner italian american pride ah. so, so like for the creed movies all you really need to do is watch Rocky one, uh, Rocky four, and that's it. Basically, I could have skipped two and three, but they're both uh, Rocky three is not that bad because that's where he cements his uh, friendship with uh, Apollo Creed. Carl Weathers is great. I'll just ding, I'll just say that. Ding. ding, ding. Yeah, that's where that reference comes from. Uh, but yeah, so I watched those. I also watched Scream six which just came out. I did not rewatch the screen movies because I had just done that like last October, I think and that was fun. Just been going to the movies working. Scream six was pretty good. It's better than five or uh, just scream. The yeah, reboot. It's just called scream, right? Yeah, but it's scream five. Everybody calls we're, it scream five. We're, we're back to the numbers scare people. Well, to be fair, scream six is also just called scream. It's just that the V I is in the M. So it's scre V I. There's, there's, there's Scream One, Scream Two, Scream Three, Scriforum. Scriforum, yeah. Scram. Uh, five cream. Five cream, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I actually did like what uh, was originally. I think some people saw on the uh, what are the the clapboards that it was yeah. titled like Scream, but with like two exclamation points. I thought that was kind of cool. It's like scream, you know. <laughs> ah. uh, it's pretty good. I have been watching Last of Us, and we've kind of been talking back and forth. Uh, yeah, I'm way behind on that. Offline, I've watched, I've watched one episode of Last of Us. It's good. It's good. Well, you'll be happy to know that the season fa finale is tonight, so you can. I can just binge it. Right binge it. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're actually going to enjoy it because they do, without spoiling anything, they adapt it pretty faithfully, but change the things that make it more enjoyable as a TV show. Yeah. With a few, like, caveats. I don't want to, again, spoil anything, but in the most recent episode, they cut out a good section that could have been used to make the episode more exciting. I know that it, there were a couple of instances in the earlier episodes where people were like hey why wasn't this in there and yeah like a pacing issue so. it's there's a little bit of a pacing issue but no i was if it was perfect i think people would be baffled even more by like they wouldn't be able to explain it you know uh but it's still really it's the probably the best video game adaptation period you sacrifice to get this quality yeah are you at all interested in the oscars um, I am interested in people I like getting recognized, but I'm gonna be straight up honest. I haven't sat down and watched something, uh, aside from the first episode of The Last of Us. Like this entire year, I've only watched that essentially. Like that is the only thing I haven't. I still haven't watched Andor. I haven't watched uh, uh the the Mandalorian season three just started. I haven't watched that. Yeah, it's okay. Any of the Marvel stuff, no Wakanda Forever, no Ant Man. Um, so I am, I am. You need to get very, out, man. Very unplugged from TV and movies. As well. I would say you need to get out, but like a lot of those things that you just mentioned. Oh yeah. You can watch at home. Yeah, you can watch at home. So. I've just been playing a shit ton of video games. Well, knock it off. Switch it up. Change your schedule. 
I can't. I'm like midway through another Dark Souls playthrough because I haven't played that game before. <laughs> well, why are you not streaming that? Oh, God, that's like the worst thing you could possibly do. Have you been to a Dark Souls stream? Like any from Soft game? Those things are fucking horrendous. Well, I could I could I could spice it up for you. I don't know why you <laughs> not 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 people playing the people watching Dark Souls fans are like they can either be very friendly, which is, it's, that's rare, or they can be the people who are watching you stream and go, you are doing this not uh, in the best way possible. You know, you're not min I think really. I think that's how every every fandom is nowadays. You, know you can't, you can't get Dark that. Souls, Dark Souls especially, because it's so, like, ingrained in the fandom mm -hmm. um, that, like, the obtuseness is part of the challenge, and, like, if you don't know everything and everything about uh the games and it's like you're somehow less of a fan and you're playing it wrong and there's only one right way to play it and why aren't you doing it oh my god god that's that sounds awful that makes me want to see if i ever actively start streaming i don't think i'll ever stream a from soft game huh i i just will not do it maybe it's got to be the communities right that's got to be the people the streamers themselves who like it has it's to be guaranteed. no it's not it's literally anyone because not only it, it's niche but it's popular for streamers you know like if it, it, it's like an evergreen content i could i could very well stream dark souls right now and i would get people watching just by virtue of it being dark souls like, I don't even have to say anything. I just sit there and play the game silently. And somebody would stop by to watch it because they like Dark Souls. But the second I'm like, eh, do I really want to up my vigor right now when, you know, even though I'm... Is that I'm a euphemism? Health, what's, no. <laughs> what's, what's a vigor? Vigor is your health. So oh. Like, if I'm, at, you know, early or mid-game and I still have low vigor, and I'm like, I want to put another... Uh, level into strength even though i already hit my first soft cap and like i'm, I'm throwing all these things around to kind of demonstrate that there's like a language here yeah too. well you don't want any soft caps right yeah, of course not you, you need hard hats um mm. for for streaming from soft games and uh the second i do something that is not optimized somebody's gonna go you're doing that wrong and i hate you for it you should fucking die <laughs> That's so awful. It makes you want to. That would make me want to quit playing as many video games as possible. But I mean, at least that's a solitary game that you can always like play offline. You don't have to play everything online. Yeah. I actually got um, I got one of my characters uh, setups in Genshin. I, I I decided to post that on Reddit and it got ripped to shreds as well, but probably not nearly as as harshly as the way that you just described. So. But it's it's every every gaming community, I feel like, especially recently, people just like, you're doing this wrong. You're leveling up this character wrong. I can't believe you would do it like this. You should fucking die. Like you said, like, holy yeah. shit, dude, it's just a game. It's really interesting. And I don't want to like sound like oh, old man here talking to the too late the back in my day. But back in my day, <laughs> um, you know, with the rise of like all these communities that you can be a part of whether it's in twitch or youtube or twitter or Ooh. anywhere else um where you have like an active conversation going between members and you're like discovering the best ways like that is cool to discover like those little like strategies to get through things as sure quick as and a lot of it also stems from like speed runs and stuff like that but then it starts to like eke out into like ways where or into areas where i like i just want to play the fucking game right you know, like am i building the best strength build i possibly could probably not and why am i uh stopping at 15 intelligence on my pyromancer when i should be focusing on that or faith because they both scale equally mm -hmm. um be i don't know that's not how i want to play it though <laughs> but the second you do that you're gonna get you like those people who are like so steeped in it wanna I think a lot of it comes from wanting to impart their knowledge 
But then they get way too aggressive about it because it's like, well, why am I, why am I wasting my time with you doing it poorly when I could either a be some be watching somebody who's doing it the best way, or I could do it myself. It's like, all right, go, go, go. <laughs> doors over there. I, I just, I honestly don't oh get. God, I don't want to beat Spyro the Dragon in three hours. You know, I kind of just want to like hang out, enjoy. I mean, that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been doing with classic games. I have no intention of uh, of finishing Wind Waker, by the way. We ha we have a new video up on our YouTube channel. I, I started it. I played the first two hours. I got to uh, right to uh, uh, Roost. Is it Roost Island? The Where the bird people are. Dragon Roost Island. Dragon Roost Island. I was close. And I will probably not pick it back up again. Sorry. Uh, one person who's specific. You want to look at the Triforce maps? No, no, I specifically don't want to get to that point, actually. Uh, the grinding part of a Zelda game, it's great. Uh, uh, I don't know if you... How are you... Are you playing the original, or are you playing... playing the original. Okay. Yeah. And it's... The, the HD Wii U version. They, they truncated a lot of that. Oh, uh, okay. This is just the regular GameCube version that is a ROM. Uh, I've just been, yeah, I've just been playing off of emulators and stuff. And it's, I, I've been playing games that I played when I was a kid and had just the waves, the rush of nostalgia of like, holy shit. I remember exactly how I felt when I played this for the first time. When I, I straight up beat Star Fox in an hour um, and enjoyed every freaking second of it because that was like the first game that I ever beat, ever. Oh, yeah. Um, and then playing through Wind, Wind Waker, I remembering like when i was like 11 or 12 and going like oh fuck i this is rushing back the memories of like when i was that age and everything and it's it's good it's i mean it's it's a good feeling it's a mixed feeling what don't you don't you start to disparage wind waker i'm not disparaging wind waker no i'm saying i i i had a lot of good memories with that game uh it, it just harkens back to a specific time of my childhood that i have different feelings about than say the person who would be watching gameplay of it and you know their experience with it uh but that's that's exactly what i was doing with those games and somehow i i, I even find more enjoyment playing those games with the nostalgia kind of uh woven into them rather than some of the newer games like i default to genshin that's the first game that i pull up whenever i uh either wake up or when i get home from work um but then i will try a a call of duty or i'll try a dark souls game or i'll try a strategy or racing game or whatever whatever is the new hot thing for the moment and i'll go eh, this just feels like this this or this you know and it, it's it it doesn't it doesn't give off the vibe that soul caliber 2 gave whenever i uh knocked uh ivy off of the stage by the way i i, I was going to stream that as well alongside the wind waker gameplay and I'm glad I didn't because I forgot how sexualized the characters are in that series. There is uh, specifically Soul Calibur 2. Just I, I won't pull it up. You're just going to have to Google this yourself. Uh, but there is one character, uh, Taki, who is a ninja character, and she has a, just a skin tight outfit. <laughs> but here's the thing. And you would think, oh, OK, cool. Just polygons on a video game character. They specifically form nipples on that character model so that you know how tight that suit is and, and there's there's just there's a lot of like explicit i'm like i don't want to upload anything of this game if i'm playing this character at least i will say people lo load up soul caliber videos every single day. no i know i just i nah, i was just like eh, this is iffy i i'm like i have to blur every like close-up of every finisher i do you know um but the and the jiggle physics, like just that time period of like jiggle physics where everything was just like ramped up to 500 percent. I don't know. You can make everything look like jello. So why not? Why not? You know, boobies. Well, Zach, the reason I brought you here today is uh, and I was leading into it when you were taking your dog out to go pee. Um, we have a mutual friend, uh, D, the co-host of the original Barely Playing. Uh, say hi, uh, who posted a couple of pictures that I would like to uh, show the show the class, and it's a bunch of Cartoon Network's shows, yeah, so and 
it's a t it's in a tournament style and i find this interesting i immediately thought zach i need to talk to you about this and i feel like we should uh log uh, i feel like we should log our opinions on these things so without further ado zach let's get into it fair enough do you want to start with a specific category because i have them uh, all laid out um i think the most i've seen out of these i mean i've seen a, there's only like two or maybe three on here that i haven't actively watched i think the most uh, uh cat the category that i've seen the most of though is probably comedy so we can start there if you want sure so let me uh let me pull that up comedy okay so it nuts. <laughs> thank you got him thank you I'll let you stew in it. Oh, uh, this is slice. This is slice of life. You silly goose. Ah, I clicked away. Sorry. Hold on. You silly. Uh, superheroes. Uh, slice of life. Uh, superheroes. There is comedy. Okay. Yeah, slice of life. Okay. No, no, you're... That's comedy. It's just. It was delayed. It was delayed. Yeah. Of course, it's delayed. It's the internet. It's all delayed. So, uh, for those that can't see, I'll I'll kind of pull it up here. We have Ed and Nettie uh fosters and we're do we want to face them off against their their seated opponents or do you want to do it like we could just narrow it down category by category that'll that'll truncate a lot of the time yeah, yeah we can do it however like, that didn't help at all that didn't give me the like you're asking if we should go one by one on each uh face off or if we should just fast forward to whoever wins the bracket the whole thing that's gonna be that's gonna be like a, this could be a five minute discussion then we should let's just do a bracket but okay let's let's do a match we'll do a match by match we did not seed these okay we did not uh we did not seed them eh, eh, a little eyebrow thank you um so the matchups and how they are matched up is just from the photos or from whoever made this so that's what we're gonna go by okay fair this is not a tier list we're just going by the matches. So Ed and Nettie versus Foster's home for imaginary friends. Zach. Um, starting off a little bit of a bias here because while I did watch and like Foster's. Did go, are, are you, no, I was adjusting my microphone. Okay. Uh, Silly. Um, I did watch and like Foster's. I watched Ed and Nettie like on a daily basis. Like this was part of the basic original package of of you know our generation's animated shows uh you know you, you're ed and eddie dexter's lab a lot of them are here courage uh you know the powerpuff girls all those guys just like all those that, guys that block of of shows you know so personally i know people have strong feelings on it and eddie because it's like a, a, it could be a pretty weird show, mm -hmm. um, and it a lot of the times it doesn't have like the wholesomeness of say Fosters. So I definitely wouldn't begrudge anyone picking Fosters over it. But me personally, I would advance Ed and Eddie just from a pure enjoyment level. Okay, so you're not going analytical at all. You're going kind of personal. No, no, just my personal favorite shows. These are. Or like these is this is how I would value these shows. <laughs> this is how. This is how. So I would value these shows. As much as oh, what is that character's name? The uh oh, the the foreign character that has the uh, uh, uh Ralph. Ralph. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's an interesting guy. Um, I don't like the jittery. Yeah, a lot of animation. Like the line work. On, on However. It, it's grungy. It's it. I mean, and we'll probably get to. I don't know if Rugrats is on here. I think that's more Nickelodeon. It's Nickelodeon. Okay. Um, because I would have said the same thing for Rugrats. I appreciate and love Rugrats. There is a huge amount of nostalgia for that one, but yeah, yeah, for sure. Foster's is the cleaner of the two. It's the cleaner, but it's also it's more it's more simple. It's like it, there's a yeah. different there's a huge gap in when Ed, Ed and Eddie started and when Foster started. And I feel like I could do that research, but um, I don't. I, it might feel like there's a huge gap. I think it's less than you than it you might believe. I think there's probably only like maybe a three or four year gap on those shows. <laughs> Ed and Eddie started in '99. And I want to say Foster's was like 2002 or three. 2004. 
Oh, wow. Okay. So five years. Uh, and I'm not saying I'm not saying animation jumped up a level because that's not Ed and Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Fuck this illiterate, illiterate of nonsense. Ed, Ed and Eddie uh, is not indicative of the animation style of that era. It's not like every other show was animated that way. Well, and for me, again, talking from a personal standpoint, like that's part of the reason why I liked it is it wasn't like that more clean. Mm -hmm. of, you know, it was like uh, it was chaotic, you know, and that that's definitely how you could describe that show is just chaos well, all the time. Just just to put my vote in, I actually am voting for Ed, Ed and Eddie. We, we can agree on that uh, moving forward. I, I think Foster's is fine. Uh, I don't remember any particular episode of Foster's. I remember some characters. Uh, I hated the chicken character. It freaked me out. I, uh, what is what is the name of the chicken? I think it's like it's like Francis or something. Coco. It was Coco. I hated it. Um. Anyway, Ed and Eddie is is the superior show. So we're just gonna move that forward. Okay. Can you can can you do me a favor? Can you write down who moves forward? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll move. I'll, I'll, I'll put notes down. Okay, uh, I I really should have worked on this, but oh well. Um, next up, we have Amazing World of Gumball versus Regular Show. Okay, so it actually wasn't too long ago where I mentioned to you. I don't even remember if we were recording at the time that I mentioned to you attempting to watch more Regular Show. Mm-hmm. And it was this kind of thing where, like, man, when I see this on Twitter or TikTok or some shit, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. And then... Taken out of context. When I sit down and actually watch the show, it's it's pretty good. Um, but you don't get... It's not like back-to-back -back hits, you know? Yeah. Gumball is one that I see uh, similarly makes its rounds through the socials all the time yeah you sit down and watch that and generally the stories are more cohesive and it's actually in my opinion way funnier so i have laughed more at gumball jokes than i have regular show i i feel like and it's ironic because both shows are pretty like meta in their own way like they know that they're shows especially with the ending of regular show uh, a regular show kind of like tries to bridge that gap as like an older mm -hmm. kids show like you know, teen like into teens mm -hmm. and, and young adults uh whereas gumball is like a kid show mm -hmm. but then there's stuff in there that it's you know like only like kids are not gonna get that yeah uh, people our age are gonna are gonna get that um it's kind of tough it's it is it's tough i still i like regular show I'm yeah old. But if I have to take it from like a, I am sitting down to watch a collection of episodes yeah. of these shows, I find that I would enjoy myself more with Gumball. Like, I, I can agree with that. It's just, like the highs are higher and it never hits the same low of a, a regular show episode. Right, where you're just not laughing at all. Yeah, it's like, all right, th this thing is on right now, which it's, happens more than I would have anticipated with regular show. And I think that's what we need to take into consideration too is this is the comedy section of the of the tournament so we need to like is it funny laugh, yeah. yeah sure yeah that's, that's so let's go with gumball gumball is uh moving on to face ed and eddie right. don't don't think about future fights because you're gonna start forming right. opinions ahead of time uh next up we got cow and chicken versus total drama island this is easy for me <laughs> um, but go ahead um Cow and Chicken, uh, again, is, is one like and they, where I actually watched it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, unhinged. If if Ed and, Eddie, Ed, Ed and Eddie is chaotic, Cow and Chicken is just straight up unhinged. It was that late 90s uh, where, like, I don't know what happened with, like, the cartoon uh, zeitgeist uh, when it came to, like, animating rougher and sharper uh and somehow more rounded characters but like they were also like just insane everyone was crazy yeah, like all real monsters and all this shit 90s style and a lot of the time grungy you were basically trying to appeal to or the studios were trying to mostly appeal to young boys mm -hmm. so you got kind of like this steady 
trickle of gross out and like absurdist humor without dark you know, any real like solid base yeah dark uh re- gets pretty dark in cow chicken total drama island it's a bit of a sleeper really Actually, yeah i, I really I, I have i have watched all of the first series of drama i don't know how you would agree. it's called the total the, drama series yeah well, well like the the first group of people so basically if you don't know the conceit of total drama island is it's survivor mm-hmm. animated and scripted obviously uh it's a fun show. It's funny. Uh, at least the the bit that I watched, which I assume this this looks like the first season or whatever. I think. Well, we could just we can attribute the entire run of the series, and in, in this case, that's every single season, uh, which I is think, five seasons, by the way. Yeah. Holy shit! Like they took huge gaps in between each season. I also I, I'm just remembering I did watch the the second run as well. Yeah, I only watched Island, and I think bits and pieces of like world tour and action but um yeah the animation i don't and it's it's a canadian show for those that it's from the same team that did uh clone high which is getting a a new series yes uh tom mcgillis uh i i don't remember that much of total drama island and i don't recall it being that funny this this is it's more even in a matchup in that I I don't think either of them are like laugh out loud funny. In fact, uh, I still quote Karen Tricker from time to time. So, so there you go. That, I mean, there you go. But it, it, that's a little bit of a again bias. So like I grew like I was a young child who <laughs> was watching something that was okay in any way like made for children. Like Cow and Chicken is such a weird show because again. It's like off the wall sort of absurdist humor mixed with and like I can't believe they just did that on television. Tel- yeah. Oh, it's like the uh, remember when Ren and Stimpy was for a yeah. short yeah. bit uh, considered like children's animation before they finally like we should probably put it on Spike TV. I mean, well, that they did the, that's the reboot show or whatever, and that's mm. that's way different than the old show. I do. I would equate it, cow and chicken, to the old Ren and Sippy, though. That's a a perfect analogy in that you have this show that is technically a kids show, but the stuff in it is way more like there's that fucking nerve ending episode in Ren and Stimpy, like that. That was. I just. Haunting. It's it's. I I don't want to talk about Ren and Stimpy anymore. You get the same. You get the same shit in Cow and Chicken. It's just like fucking bonkers. Uh, I would rather if if you st- sat me down and said, "Hey, do you want to watch Cow and Chicken or Total Drama Island?" We we should just move past this. It's Cow and Chicken. Yeah. Cow yeah. and Chicken would be an easier. Sound. Now we need to talk about probably the biggest, the hardest fight yeah, between this two: yeah. Courage versus Dexter's Lab. Yeah, that's rough. Um, I need to hold on. I need to phone a friend. Where's my phone? I need a friend. I think I know who you're phoning. Do you? I, I, I think I already know his answer. Hello? Hey, um, Courage the Cowardly Dog or Dexter's Lab? Is this on the podcast? No. <laughs> uh, I chose Courage. Courage? Yes. What's your reasoning behind that? the two in front of me i'd rather watch courage than dexter's lab like with your kids watching potentially oh okay travis picks the same he picks courage okay we have two friends picking courage okay thank you this was just a tough one for us play okay thank you damn i really thought they were going to be more split on that i thought i did no i think the people who you called that does not surprise me that they chose courage who did you think i was going to call before i actually thought you were calling travis Oh, okay. Wow. Well, he wasn't he, he was pretty adamant that it was gonna be courage. Damn. Um yeah, I don't I don't know, man. It's 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 rough. I'm leaning Dexter. I, I love I love I love yeah, courage. I don't want this fight because I wanted this fight to be like the fi- the finals, really. Yeah. Because they're the two They're the most memorable ones. But I know if I'm gonna be laughing, because this is the comedy section, you gotta remember. If I'm gonna be laughing, I'm gonna be quoting Dexter's lab over a courage, the cowardly dog, yeah. you know, 
and they they have a good a lot of good throwaway bits and stuff like the the justice friends and yeah uh, oh my God. Oh, and man, man dark stuff and they uh monkey right side bits too i haven't watched dexter's lab in like over a decade and i can quote dexter's lab over cars the cowley dog I mean, I, I quote, or like, Return the Slab is like embedded into my fucking... Oh, uh, I guess, I guess I can remember like Fantasy Flan. Um, uh, God, it's so tough. I, I'm voting for Dexter's Lab, but... I think, I think as, as, as much as it's going to anger the two people you just talked to, if we're doing it on a basis of comedy... Because mm-hmm. I think I will agree. I think overall, Courage is probably the better show as a whole. Right. But as a comedy, I think Dexter probably edges it out. Okay. So we gotta we gotta move towards Dexter. That's gonna be that's gonna be the the uh, controversial one. Yeah. Well, we we say that, but we've literally only done one category. All right. We gotta move. We gotta move. <laughs> Adventure. Oh are fuck! We, are we not doing the the follow up? We can, we'll do it after. We'll do it after. We because otherwise we're gonna have too much of a, a recency bias. I gotcha. I gotcha. All right. I feel like we already we already have an answer for this one, but let's go down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I could like I could go like bam, bam, bam. bam. Uh, oh, this is gonna be easy for you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for maybe the last one because. I, those are two of the, the three that I have I have not watched, you know. Oh, okay. I have not watched either Steve in the Universe or Over the Garden Wall, so I'm going to have to defer to you on both. Like, at all? Both. Like, at a, all. okay. I mean, I've seen stuff from both of them, but I haven't watched the shows. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Adventure Time versus uh, Flapjack. So. Yeah, so this is this is kind of the... The inverse of what we just talked about. Mm-hmm. I think Flapjack has some really funny jokes. Oh yeah. Um, but as an adventure show, Adventure Time. Yeah. Um, that still has like great bits, and I do think it's a, this is a little bit of an unfair seating because Flapjack got like two or three seasons, I uh, think. I will. I will look it up. And Adventure Time got like a bajillion plus like four movies it's it's still going on technically right with uh they, they're still doing i think they're still doing a spinoff um of one of it um but the the main show itself is over lapjack only had one season i, I wouldn't be surprised if it was one season i was just being like oh uh guess, but... oh wait uh, three seasons, actually. Okay, yeah. But they were all like they were all pretty short seasons. So uh, the third yeah. season was uh, six episodes. So yeah, I like a lot of the humor in Flapjack, and it was like kind of the precursor to like that, or not the precursor because Ren and Stimpy was the precursor, but it was like the new introduction of like that close up, gross out, yeah, realistic humor sort of stuff. It was, um, it, it it was a, a dark comedy. It was a dark comedy. It had that kind of crusty feel to it. It was kind of a combination of like Ren and Stimpy meets like SpongeBob in a way. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, to pull from our first uh, seed. Uh, it's it's like a mixture of Ed and Eddie and, and Fosters in terms of like stylistic yeah. choices. Like it's still clean, but the vibe is like like grungy and gross yeah you know? so it, it, it's 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 one of those shows that's from like the dark period of of uh, 2008 uh, to 2010 original dark period of uh cartoon network animation. yeah so adventure time is moving on personally yeah I yeah mean, I, I agree as well uh grim adventures of billy and mandy versus kids next door i am not a huge fan of kids next door me neither there you go. I like Mandy. I'm not a whole lot like I I still didn't like watch it religiously, but I, if I had to pick between the two of them, I would pick Bill and Mandy. It's actually making a comeback in a lot of uh, I've been seeing it on TikTok more and more, mm-hmm. but may, that might just be like my viewing habits. But I I've been seeing a lot more memes of that. Yeah, a lot of sounds coming from that. So and 
while I can't quote either of them like off the bat, I had more fun watching Billy and Mandy than Kids Next Door. Kids Next Door was just kind of formulaic. And I also don't like how in if we were in that universe of Kids Next Door, we're the bad guys. We're evil. Like as adults. As adults. Because well, we're we not have been when we were watching it. We would have been the I know, but like watching it now, we have to rate it as we are now, as as adults. I, I don't pull that into my my grading system, but you're more than welcome to. I feel I kind of find it weird that Billy and Mandy isn't in like the comedy section, you know? Like I would change Billy and Mandy with uh, uh, like courage. I think I think for most of these though, like aside from, well, even courage, yeah. Like you look at that comedy one, and there's a lot less through line. You know, there's very little mm-hmm. like this is a two part episode sort of thing. Mm-hmm. You know, like it's just what happens in this episode is self contained and stays there. Um, and I think that's kind of how they're they're doing that. Um, whereas if you look at these, there is some crossover or um, just in the terms of in terms of some of the later ones, like just straight up a full on narrative yeah um, it continues throughout that's kind of where it's where it's at that's fair so i guess we'll we'll I, i'm gonna go with billy and mandy what were you gonna pick i i would i would pick the same yeah okay now to the worst seed of all time is, uh, well <laughs> for me this is this does hurt a little bit because i love scooby-doo mm-hmm. i love it so much like it's one of what version of scooby-doo by the way all of them all of them like, quite frankly i could watch any of the uh uh vilma where are you scooby-doo i well, I have that's not scooby-doo so it doesn't <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, scooby-doo and a thousand ghosts um uh, pup named scooby-doo like i could watch all of those fucking versions what's new scooby-doo for, for me what's new scooby-doo it is my favorite version of it it's a good one yeah got unfortunately canceled <laughs> The um uh the old uh like the classic ones. Super Scooby Doo meets blank. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I loved all those too, you know. So for me, like, it hurts to say that it gets kicked out of the first round. Yeah. But I could not, in good conscience, argue for it over Infinity Train. Like, it's just no possible. <laughs> like just, just taking the fact that Infinity Train not only is more of an adventure series than Scooby Doo is. Scooby Doo is a formulaic mystery series. Infinity Train is an adventure series. It's also got more heart. It's got a built-in, like, episodic story. Um, it's just it's 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 better in a lot of ways. I think the closest you could get is if you stipulated specifically it was Infinity Train versus Mystery Incorporated. Mm-hmm. Like which version of Scooby-Doo? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be the closest you could get. But even then, I think as enjoyable as Mystery Incorporated is, there's so much going on with Infinity Train. Mm-hmm that yeah like it's just like it's so unfair it's <laughs> it's have a chance it, it, it i think any show that it was going to go up against it was going to have a hard time yeah. uh beating and that's even including our two next contenders which are steven universe and over the garden wall now you previously told me not a few minutes before that you had not seen either of these either like ones. Not, a, not a single one this is your seed okay this is your seed I will give you my choice of seed. Uh, so Over the Garden Wall is a uh, it was a mini series. It's really just a single season, a one and done season of television uh, that came out in the fall of 20, 2014. Um, starring Elijah Wood, Melanie Linsky, Christopher Lloyd, Fred Stoller, Colin Dean. Um and it was just it was like this came out of nowhere. This is a cool like little Halloween miniseries that you can watch every year during that time period or the fall time period. And it's spooky. It's fun. It's about these two brothers who fall over the side of a garden wall and find themselves not in modern day small town America, but in like this weird like 19th century rustic eastern european gothic world 
and they just navigate through they're trying to find their way back home and that's what it is um they meet like there are some really like actually horrifying moments like courage the cowardly dog level of horror uh and it's great and it's like i said it's one and done you can finish it you could probably binge the whole series in like a day if you wanted to um and it's great steven universe uh is a shonen anime um made for american kids and easily digestible it's continuing on with a their boruto steven universe future um it's great it's got heart it's got lgbt representation it's got adventure but it's mostly about a kid who's trying to wrestle with the loss of his mom and dealing with growing up and love and all this kind of stuff it's you could watch a trailer and probably get the basic gist of steven universe i I feel like you you may not have watched an episode of steven universe zach but you've seen seen you've you've seen a lot you've seen clips you've seen yeah so you you got the general idea um like the the one of the musical cues i know because of fucking um i play i was playing rumble it was not rumble verse multiverses oh that's right for for a couple weeks i was playing yeah so you you you've actually played as some of the characters maybe um i would say it's this is fucking tough actually because they're two totally different beasts when it comes to adventure i mean you're traveling across like dimensions and galaxies and stuff with steven universe but with over the garden wall it's more of a personal story about these two brothers one of them who's literally played by a hobbit (laughs) trying to travel uh across this steven universe gives you more it's more it's full i feel like if over the garden wall was uh longer if we had more seasons of it and it built more upon the world the storybook storybook worlds that uh it kind of puts you in it would be more enjoyable Mm -hmm. i would say because you get more out of steven universe i'm gonna go with steven universe but that's tough i I, it's honestly a tough choice i i highly recommend to you zach personally that you would enjoy over the garden wall i mean they're both on my list yeah i've been for years um almost a decade now with one of them just got done saying i i'm not watching anything right now well well, you need to stop playing dark souls and start watching some cartoons made for children okay well hey that's usually my mo it's that and the simpsons yeah well there you go all right well that is it for that we are taking so long yeah i know uh slice of life we're gonna go through these last two i think pretty quickly i do think so yeah yeah so check yeah let's do slice of life yeah yeah looking at that one i mean like quite frankly i have seen three of these i have seen one one two three four five i've seen five of them so do we want to knock them out we could just knock out the ones we haven't seen chowder versus camp laszlo i've seen both of these okay uh I've seen one. Well, no, I've seen a little bit of both. Uh, and the, what I have seen, I would pick Laszlo over Chowder. I believe Chowder is made by the same people who did Flapjack. Is it? Yeah, I think I, so. I think that's right. I think um, Chowder is great. It's very meta. It's. I would choose that over Camp Laszlo. Camp Laszlo is kind of is well, I'm gonna, fun. I'm going to defer to you then on that because I I've maybe seen like less than five episodes of both. Chow- Chowder is way more watchable uh going back and watching it i think camp laszlo is just like okay so i choose chowder for that one uh i haven't watched clarence or craig of the creek uh i have watched craig of the creek okay i've seen a little bit of clarence and craig of the creek wins hands down okay well there you go that's what that would be my choice (laughs) fair enough i defer to you uh my gym partner's a monkey and i am weasel um both of these i think lasted maybe half a season mm. um before both getting canceled um i am weasel was kind of like a sh- offshoot of dexter's lab oh i thought it was cow and chicken but oh yeah you're right well the same kind of team uh behind it my gym partners a monkey had four seasons okay well fuck me then. <laughs> Um, I don't think I've even seen one episode of my gym partner. I am weasel has had three seasons. 
Good lord. Wow. Well, I liked I like the style of Iron Weasel. I like it too. It's it's that's more of a nostalgia is is winning out this one. I think my gym partner's monkey is fine, but it's in the same category as Foster's Home, where I'm like, it's not doing enough. Neither one of them will win. Yeah, neither one of them are gonna win. Um Summer Camp Island, I never saw, and We Bear Bears is great. Uh, yeah, I've seen a little bit of Summer Camp Island, and I keep meaning to go back and watch more because what I have seen is good. Okay. Uh, but We Bear Bear is really a really funny show. Like it's 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 almost bluey levels when it comes yeah. to like it's wholesome it's shit. Country, it's yeah. yeah, especially We Baby Bears or whatever it's called. It's even better. They're smaller. They're, Zach, spoiler alert. It's the same show, but they're smaller. Yeah. Okay, so you have that written down. I do. Yes, we have. We have put that one away pretty handily okay holy <laughs> fuck some time <laughs> oh yeah yeah we're we have to uh teen titans versus young justice this one's hard this one is actually hard this is the probably the hardest one out of this uh out of this one if i have to take them as the whole show as the whole show you have to consider the whole the show whole show all together like piecemealing out into specific seasons mm -hmm. i give teen titans the edge Young Justice has like some phenomenal highs, and I love that show. Mm -hmm. I always like, like tell people to go fucking watch it because it's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but there, it drags oh, quite a bit in some of the later seasons, uh, whereas I, I feel like Teen Titans is always very steady in its quality. So I would give that the edge. It's it was the blending. I think Teen Titans Go obviously would not exist without Teen Titans. Um, and the fact that Teen Titans Go has existed for as long as it has, based purely on the facts, based purely on nostalgia, for one, but also, too, for the actual uh, memory span of the average Zoomer. Um, but it's blending the anime. It's blending. Blending. It's blending Eastern animation style with Western animation style. It's it's everything that we enjoyed from the Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. Uh uh shows that we grew up we uh what are we called gen y we're millennials 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 same thing um that we millennials grew up watching you know from the early 2000s and stuff and late 90s uh and kind of blending them in i uh, i have only watched like a couple episodes of young justice and i'm like okay cool this is a lot like what I remember growing up watching, but I just could not get into it because it just seemed like it had it just kind of starts and then goes. It is, and it didn't grab onto me. It's a show that imagines you probably watched all the old mm -hmm. Jim Justice League and and uh, uh, Batman anime, anime anyways and Superman and all all those shows. You've probably watched those, and you probably know a, a bit about comics in general. It's assuming you know all this. It's, it's assuming you have a baseline knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, whereas Teen Titans baseline knowledge assumption is much lower and therefore easier to kind of get new watchers in. Right. I, I would definitely see how that would throw you. My choice is Teen Titans to, to just move it forward. So, yeah. And, and that's only because I know where I'm going to choose between two other superhero shows. Uh, OK KO and Mau Mau Heroes of Pure Heart. Which I have never heard of until this first until this moment. Mau Mau, I've seen a, a bit of. It's unfortunately uh, a uh, casualty of the Discovery HBO or uh, Discovery yeah, HBO Warner uh, Media. Okay. Um, it actually, One season. I believe it had a entire second season ready to go. That was this show. That yeah, and then they it just got axed, which is really unfortunate because what I had seen of it was was very enjoyable. Um, you know, easy for kids to watch, but uh, the narrative sort of pull on it and action segments in particular were really, really interesting. Um, so okay. it's a bummer that I didn't get more. Okay, KO shared a somewhat similar fate. I believe it got an extra season over Mau Mau. Um, maybe one or two extra seasons. Um, but it, it also got canned um, during the murder, which was, again, a bummer. It had... Oh shit! It had a crossover with Sonic. That's all I remember from OKKO. OK yeah, like Sonic literally showed up in the show. I have probably watched an equal amount of both of these, and three seasons. Both, yeah. 
uh, they were both enjoyable from what I saw, so I don't think you could really go wrong with picking one or the other. Okay. Uh, personally, I like the Mau Mau style over it. Okay, KO. So that's if I had to pick one, that's what I would go with. Okay, I, I defer to you. Let's go with Mau Mau. And I wish I could watch it on HBO Max, but I fucking can't. Yeah. Can I? Thanks, Zuslov. Z- Zas. Maybe there's there's certain ways that you can go about procuring it. There might be some online ways of procuring it. Hold on, hold on, I had it. <laughs> Yar. By purchasing it online. <laughs> for legal reasons. <laughs> Next one is Justice League and Generation Rex. I, uh, it's Generator X for one. Whatever. Um, it's not winning. I will not let it win. I I didn't, I didn't watch a whole lot of it, but, uh, mostly because I don't like the style Mm -hmm. alone. So just based off that, even if Justice League wasn't as good as it was, I would probably pick it over Generator X. But Justice League is really fucking good. Yeah. I'll pick Justice League. Especially Justice League Unlimited, which I, assume is just wasn't it justice league unlimited is basically justice league like it's the it's the part two it's like, yeah yeah it's like um uh batman and robin adventures or the adventures of batman and robin right animated adventures okay so justice league is moving on uh now powerpuff girls versus ben 10 these this is an interesting pairing because if you were to take just the original powerpuff series mm-hmm. you probably would win but then Ben 10 gets better as it goes on, whereas Powerpuff Girls has unfortunately been like dug up from the mines and the graves and like it just recently got rebooted, right? Uh, it was in the last couple, like the last decade, I think. That was the one that was dun, 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 dun. the uh, the lead animator, I believe. It was either the lead animator or the writer was self-inserting himself into it. Um. Craig, Craig McCracken. No, I don't. I don't think that's him. Uh, Powerpuff Girls Z. Oh, that was the anime version, the 2006 anime. Ew. Uh, no. <laughs> I will say uh, if if you, uh, once again if you sat me down and made me watch one of these, I would choose Powerpuff Girls over Ben 10. I probably would too, but I will say. Uh, I watched a good bit of Ben 10 mm. um, and not like, like I'm going to sit down and watch Ben 10, but like it just happened to be on and it always was engaging and it made me want to watch more of it. Uh, and it had a seemingly decent through line. So as much as it kind of pains me to say, I think Ben 10 is probably the better show overall. Oh, wow. Well, okay. Just because I, I really like Powerpuff Girls. Um, but if we're taking it on a basis of like, is it mostly self-contained? Yeah, it, it, episodic versus like actual main storyline and everything. And okay, I'll, I'll defer to you. I would, I mean, I, I wasn't leaning too heavily on Powerpuff Girls, but I just like I have more fond memories of watching that. Based off of what I saw of Ben Ten, I mm-hmm. think it is a better show. Um, even taking it not taking into account the later iterations of powerpuff girls which are not as good to put it lightly what about what about the uh live action ben 10 movies that are totally canon you would have to ask somebody who watched them uh-huh. i don't even watch all of the, the animated series let alone well, okay so and from the entirety of us doing this, we've taken in taking into consideration the entirety of the franchise of which it's named after because Ben 10, uh, all of the different series are like, they're technically different series. I don't know if they're. And so there's one sequel series, which is, it's like a time jump. Um, alien force. You're Shippuden, if you will. Yes. Okay. I will. I'll just, I'll defer to you. We'll just go with Ben 10. I don't see it beating Justice League, though. Let's move on to the final category. Uh, wait, was that the last category? I think that's the last one. Let's go. Okay. Well, so, all right. Let's 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 go all the way back. <laughs> we it'll speed up. I I guarantee you, it's gonna speed up. Now that we've 
we've hit all the, the corners. <laughs> so you have it written down, right? You have all yeah. the... So for comedy, the first uh, follow-up scene mm-hmm. is Ed and Nettie versus Gumball. Okay. So who do you think? Well, hold on. Um, yeah, I, I would I would say Gumball wins this pretty pretty easily. And wow. Somebody who who likes Ed and Eddie a lot. Uh, Gumball is just this is better, you know. I, I think it's it's still chaotic. It can still be chaotic, but mm-hmm. it also like knows when to have a little bit of restraint. And uh, Ed and Eddie is just all balls to the wall. Um, it, it's pretty. It's I would say one is extremely more grounded than the other. And I think when it comes to telling a comedic joke, especially for like the way our attention span has kind of been molded into, I need a quick joke. You know, it's it, definitely it, more of a modern sensibility. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Yeah. Cause it's newer. Um, I'll, I'll agree with you. And I was already leaning away from Ed, Ed and Eddie from the very beginning, obviously. Yeah. So gumball moves on. Yep. And we have and <laughs> go ahead. Uh, next, we have Cow and Chicken versus Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab. Okay. okay it's not we were. Uh, <laughs> you could you could rewind back to where we were trying to decide which of these, yeah. which between Total Drama Island and Cow and Chicken, we're like, mm, which one's better? Uh, okay. So we move on to. Do we do Slice of Life next or? We did adventure. We could, we could either do that or we can just finish it out. Because at this point, I don't think we have to worry about uh, contaminating our thoughts. Or okay, okay. So Gumball versus Dexter's Lab. Gumball versus Dexter's Lab. Um, yeah, I gotta. I, I'm gonna lose my fucking my these kid millen- uh, millennial card here, but I think Gumball edges out. I think it's just a better show overall. Interesting. Yeah. Um, I ha- I die a little bit inside saying it because I do love Dexter's Lab, um, and I mean for crying out loud, it, it beat Courage, uh, which in itself is a fucking masterpiece. Yeah. Uh, God, now I kind of wish Courage was here. Gumball, Shit. I, I person, honestly, I would still I would say the same. It wouldn't matter if it, for, for me for me if it was Courage versus Gumball. Um, it's like the perfect blend of just like a kid's show that has like some like good wholesomeness to it. Mm-hmm. And then just it can get so unhinged and ridiculous. And the, it's some like even just some of the animation in it, uh, it, it takes so much expertise. And because, and- yeah, they're using like 12 different kinds of animation yeah. for every scene. Because every character is different. It is one. Per, if I had to rank it in a like top ten, it'd probably be in the top five. Wow. Okay. I haven't watched Gumball nearly enough. I, I was gonna. Watch more of it. It's a really funny and good show. I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. This is this is actually the the ultimate end goal of this whole thing. Is like, which cartoon show should I watch more? <laughs> um. You you can you can uh, disagree with me. I do. I I, I, I would split category. You know. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess we could see how the other categories shake out and see which one it was going to go up against. If that makes sense. Yeah. So it's split right now because I have to I have to lean towards Dexter's Lab. Yeah. I have more exper- more experience watching that. If that makes sense. You're a Dexter's Lab veteran. I am. I am. Uh, Adventure was next. So we got Adventure Time versus Billy and Mandy. Correct. Yeah. So Adventure Time. Yeah, Adventure Time for me. Yeah. Yeah. It was Billy and Mandy only slightly edged out Kids Next Door because Kids Next Door wasn't that memorable yeah. for me. <laughs> it was the worst of the two for us. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Oh fuck! We got to fight about this. We got to fight about Infinity Train versus Steven Universe. Yep. Um. Well, I know which one I would pick, but I watched one. Right. I I've watched both series in its in their entireties uh barring steven universe future i haven't watched any of that i i made a promise to a friend to watch steven universe and i did and then when that series ended i'm like i'm like i it's a good show okay well all right so right there 
would you watch Infinity Train again? Yes. I, well, it's not that I wouldn't watch Steven Universe again. I've watched clips because there are a lot of good uh, songs and very serious, sad moments in Steven Universe. I just, on the whole, I enjoy Infinity Train. I like a train on the whole. <laughs> yeah. I just, but here's the thing. And we have to take this into consideration too, Zach, both you and I. Okay. We are not going to, we are missing a, a huge chunk of Infinity Train's story that we're, ne that we're never going to get. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't have the full story of Infinity Train. So, I mean, are we, are we, do we move, do we, I don't want to, I mean, it's, it's hard for me to say. Like, most of this is on you because, again, I have only seen bits and bobs of Steven Universe. You know? Steven Universe is a complete story, though. Just but I will say, I felt the drive to watch Infinity Train, and Steven Universe is just kind of always in the background. That's not to say that, obviously, like, because I'm, I'm the arbiter of what is interesting. It's just for me personally. That's like the 20th time you've used that phrase. And it well, irks me. You have to, no, you have to. You have to. It, like, because if you don't, this is the Dark Souls problem, right? If we end <laughs> this and go, Kids Next Door is the best animated show, uh, cartoon on uh, Cartoon Network. That's just simply some untrue. person is going to come in and be like, no, it's not. You can't just say it's the best. That's why you have to say, for us, personally, Kids Next Door is the best cartoon on Cartoon Network. <laughs> Then I have to defer to Steven Universe because it's a complete story okay. from beginning to end that it does exactly what it needed to. And I think only because Steven Universe was such a major pull for the network that it was able to complete. And I think Infinity Train, if it was made even a few years prior, it would have gotten its entire entire story told. Are you saying that when you purposefully sabotage and bury a show that it's not successful that's shocking i'm shocked i feel like if i just let infinity train uh barrel down the tracks as it were uh it's just gonna win the entire tournament if i don't fight against it somewhat it's just gonna win categorically. Oh, you're you're that guy. I don't want to be. I don't want to be that. I'm being objective. There's the fucking um the the voter cards or whatever the review explanations that came out about the Emmys recently, where that one guy was like, "Yeah, I don't really want to vote for Beyonce because she's she's like I don't like Jay Z or oh yeah, yeah like, uh, it's just, like Taylor like uh, all this. You're that guy. I'm not that guy. I'm trying to be objective, not subjective. <laughs> Does that make sense? You can't make like a personal favorite list without being subjective. It's not a personal favorite list. It's a literal showdown. It's a literal cartoon I, showdown. I started the thing. It's a tournament. Personally, this is how I. If it was a tier list, it would be different. I would. We would. This would be a much different tier list. I think that's up to your own subjective opinion. Fine, 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 <laughs> fine, fine. Infinity Train moves on. No, it no, no, no. It, no, it wins the adventure category. Gumball's gonna beat it anyway, so it doesn't matter. What the fuck is this? Who is this Gumball fanatic that I've never met before? You literally have never mentioned Gumball at all in any conversation that we've had in the past. Infinity Train would beat Gumball, but Gumball is very good. We'll see. We'll see. If you want to, if you want to power through Steven Universe, I'm just well, hold on, I'm because spoil it. I can't give you my opinion on Steven Universe because I haven't seen it. Okay, well, you've seen Adventure Time, right? I have, yeah. Adventure Time versus Infinity Train. I'd probably give it to Adventure Time. Okay. Well, I, that's the argument that I'm having pre before that, okay? So even if I default on Steven Universe, Adventure Time is going to be the uh, finalist. Okay, then well, this, this whole thing was a waste of time. It's not a waste of time. I think it's important that adventure we... Adventure Time wins we, <laughs> Adventure. <laughs> we understand where our principles are at, okay? We understand where we're going, okay? We're either going to be on a train, in a universe, or on the back of a stretchy dog. Yeah, or through time, sure. <laughs> Times all together. All together. On a train and time. Uh slice of life. Uh I think first up is Chowder versus Craig of the Creek. Yes. Uh, Chowder. Chowder fan of what I have seen, so I would pick Craig of the Creek. I pick Chowder. 
I pick chowder. How do we how do we solve this then? I don't know. Okay, how about we go to the next one and then see where that leads? Okay. Okay. Was, I am weasel versus we bear bears. We bear bears. We bear bears. Okay, so I am weasel is out. So if we bear bears is up against either Chowder or Craig of the Creek, do we think it would lose, or do we think we bear bears would win? Do we have another meta show from our previous categories? Uh, oh, Gumball. Um, I, it's it's gonna Gumball is gonna beat out Chowder, even if it was in the finals. Um, I know that's kind of that's right now, but right now, yeah, either Chowder or Craig. Facing off We Bear Bears. Do you think either one of those? Robo, Robo, Robo. Uh, do you get that reference? I don't know. Wow. Wow. We Bear Bears is going to beat both of them. Okay. So we'll, we'll It's going to be my choice. Is it going to be your choice? Would you go back and watch Craig of the Creek over We Bear Bears? Probably. But I'll, I'll defer to you on that. Um, because you, if we're both doing this at the same time, it's hard for one of us to be like, "Well, I haven't seen that, so I've." I haven't. I haven't seen Craig of the Creek, and you've no, seen Chowder. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like because I've seen them. Well, I guess you would defer to me then. Yeah. Um, to which I am currently. It's hard. <laughs> I think. I think quality wise, Craig of the Creek has higher highs, but overall, We Bear Bears is probably. Better. I mean, can our, can our chat? Like pipe in and tell us who they should, who they would pick. That would be great. The rambunctious chat. It would be nice. Uh, just your your input matters. <laughs> We're not ignoring you. Um, we bear bears beats out my choice. Okay. Yeah. Is that what we were yeah. settling on? Yeah. Okay. I don't think <laughs> moving even a further step. I don't think We Bear Bears or Craig of the Creek would be beating either of the ones that we've... Okay. Uh, superhero. Um, okay, first up is Teen Titans versus Mau Mau. Uh, Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Uh, as much as I really liked Mau Mau, it didn't really get a good chance. So no, I don't think so. It's one of those ones that's like kind of unfair to compare, but that's where we're at, so we're going to go with the one that actually finished. <laughs> Ooh, yikes. And it has a legacy. Yeah. Uh next up, Justice League versus Ben 10. Justice League and Ben 10. Uh I would pick Justice League. I I assume you would too. Yep. But then we have two DC shows <laughs> facing off. Uh, so it's are you saying it's the Justice League versus the Teen Titans? If we if we move Justice League forward, it's Teen Titans versus Justice League. No, I know. I was naming an actual DC movie that came out a couple yeah. years ago. <laughs> Correct. It's also a, it's a, a comic book run. I, I think yeah, because that's what they based the movie off of. Um. Well, shit, Zach. Uh, think, hmm. I would go with Teen Titans. They're two different tones. It's 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 like you're going for a more cartoonish, more like I said, Eastern like anime style to it. I, I think as as good as the style the that you're used to with Justice League, it's been a, that was previously established mm -hmm. uh, with uh, Batman. Um, Teen Titans kind of gets the edge because it's some it's a little different. Yeah, you know, it, that's fair. Like said mixing those different sensibilities together, and I think that is worth a lot uh, in terms of something that's able to to be sufficient. And you know what's you know what's uh, fair just digging a hole for justice league i would rather choose a batman the animated series episode over a justice league episode yeah, yeah that's kind of where i'm at too you know if i'm gonna watch that kind of show i'm gonna watch mm. bts or even the superman and it was it was made and written and done by this basically yeah. the same people the superman animated series was also great uh yeah teen titans all right teen titans wins superheroes so yeah Holy shit. Quarter, quarterfinals? Uh, yes. Semifinals. Quarterfinals. No, semifinals. Because we have... Quarter, then semi. Because we have four shows left. That's quarterfinals. No, that would be semifinals. And then the finals are the final two. Let's look this up. Quarterfinals, fi quarterfinals would be eight. 
I know that doesn't make any you're sense because right. it would be four right. matches left. You're right. Yes, you're correct. Yes. I've watched Karate Kid. I know how tournaments work. That is true. Yes. Yeah. Okay, but we still have a problem. We have a problem with the comedy section. Yes, we didn't sell on Dexter's versus Gumball. Dexter's versus Gumball versus uh, Infin uh, versus Adventure Time. Cause, right, because that's the final. Yeah, it would that be Adventure Time versus either of the two. Of them. Hold on, I have the actual. Yeah. Or is it? Yeah, it's Adventure versus Comedy. It's Adventure versus Comedy. Okay. Yeah. So would Adventure Time beat your Gumball? Adventure Time, come on, grab your friends. Yeah, I would probably yeah, rank Adventure Time over Gumball. I would easily, it would easily defeat Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab is okay. great. Well, there we go. But it's episodic. And to, uh, can we can we just say we should, probably should have stated this at the top too when we were going down the different categories. When it comes to like how a show presents itself, whether it be episodic or have like an overarching like actual story, uh, which one would eventually like beat out over the other? Like, would an episodic show that's like self-contained? For for me, I I would generally be like. Unless it's it's an outlier like BTAS, mm -hmm. um, then yeah, generally I'm going to go with something that has a cohesive narrative or at least like callbacks to certain things over like it's it's more engaging. Contain canned episodes, you know. It's Not more engaging. Episodes are bad. I do like them, but it's yeah, it, it keeps you interested. But that's what that's when you get filler in those uh, overarching narratives that are like, okay, this was just a fun like whatever and then you get callbacks to that filler episode somehow in an actual canon it was, it's fun that's why anime is fun that's why anime shown in or shown in anime are fun uh so adventure time is a finalist mm -hmm. so for superheroes we have uh teen titans sorry versus we bear bears i did not think that this is how this was going to go so weird. this is such a weird face off um I pick Teen Titans. I do like We Bear Bears, but and I think that's because it's skewed, and not that We Bear Bears is inherently more of a uh, uh, less masculine show, but it's literally intended for for children. Um, uh, whereas there's a bit of a cross section on Teen Titans, and I think that's it's the superhero slash comic book. Like we're we're got, we grew up on that stuff, and yeah, I choose Teen Titans. I was trying to give We Bear Bears like a little bit of a tiny life I mean, raft there did, you know, when we're doing all the initial, yeah you know, quarterfinals I hope, we, I hope we extolled all of the virtues for every show that we did we tried to, yeah. and i'm surprised at how many shows we we actually did watch compared to uh ones we didn't like there's only a handful of shows i i hadn't watched yeah. like one two three four five six total for me that i hadn't seen so that's cool. But now we have Adventure Time versus Teen Titans. Finals, yes. Um, what do you think? This is kind of hard. Um, I am. I don't want to say like Adventure Time is like basic bitch sort of thing, you know? But it's like, did I expect. I don't know, maybe I should have. It just feels it feels against like the 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 norm not the norm. It feels too in line with the norm to be like Adventure Time is the best show ever. Right? On Cartoon Network. But when you look at the, the facts, I mean I just you kinda have to give it to it. I'm sorry. I ordered a hammock yesterday. A next day delivery. Uh -huh. Amazon Prime, you know, all the features, all all the all the fixins, if you will. Yeah. I just got an email saying your package is on the way, but running late. We're sorry for the delay. We're now expecting now expected March 13th to March 14th. Mm -hmm. Track your delivery for the latest updates. What the fucking fuck? What do you mean it's on the way, but it's like it's running late? It's usually because Amazon isn't shipping it, or they're they're not the ones replying. Do they're not. 
through them. Yeah. Do not promise me next day then. Do not promise me next day if you're not going to be able to fulfill next day. Like if you don't have the item, if you don't have the item in the warehouse, that's like literally 10 minutes from where I live. Of which I drive by nearly every day. Then don't fucking promise me next day delivery. If you don't have it in the back, don't tell me it's in the back. You know what I mean? We've, we've all had that like, oh yeah, we've got it. It's, just, it's in the back. But don't tell me that. Don't lie to my face. Usually, usually it's the other way. Where you ask, and somebody asks if, if it's in the back and you're like, you're like oh. yeah, let me go check. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's not in the back. I'm sorry. Warehouse and you're like, told them it wasn't in the back. Yeah. Insisted, so now I gotta stand here for like 10 minutes so it doesn't look like I just walked in here and then turned around. Yeah. Retail's great, guys. It's really great. You should, you should all, you should all live, work, work at a retail. We should all live. <laughs> um, sorry, side tangent. Uh, I was just, it's a really beautiful day out today. Like it's unusually like cool and nice, and I, I, I mowed mowed the lawn, and I now I wanted to lay in the hammock and just chill and read a book. I can't fucking do that now. Thanks, Bezos. It's, it's funny that you mentioned that. I just ordered a the last night. I ordered a Kuluru for my dogs so they can what's a chill out. What's it's a, like a little like elevated like mesh platform. What? You know, it's, it's it's like like a stool. Like kind of like a like a like a dog bed, but it's it's not like a cushion. It's just like a mesh, and then it elevates <laughs> off the ground with like legs. Like chair legs so a dog hammock kind of but it's not like suspended right okay it's a little table but instead of wood it's a mesh that your dog can lay in. okay yeah so it's yeah it's, it's a hammock other than it being suspended you know if you want to go into details about it that's cool that's a nice treat anyway we had the same thought i was just putting my dogs ahead of me so i don't have a dog to put ahead of myself yeah all right, Adventure Time versus Teen Titans. <laughs> um, it's tough. It is tough. It is tough. I I think I think I gotta give it to Adventure Time. I do too, cause like you're kind of getting. It's, it's like it's it it's like oh wow, Adventure Time is really good, huh? Really. Mm. I never heard of that before. This little alone show called Adventure Time, but it's like, well, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty big. Great. It's and it's a good show. Like it, it's there's a reason why it was able to last as long as it did. And I think the only reason the only reason Teen Titans ended was because well, I don't really know. I didn't do the research, but <laughs> I know that uh, Teen Titans Go only exists with the same cast and most of the people that worked in the previous iteration of Teen Titans exists, or the only reason Teen Titans Go exists is because Teen Titans existed before it. Um, and we didn't really get any, we didn't really have a precursor to Adventure Time. So the fact that it exists on its own as a complete story that will make you cry, will make you laugh, will make you go, what the fuck? Way more way more consistently than Teen Titans. I think as an effect of being one of the the lucky shows to get such a long run mm -hmm. on Cartoon Network, um, is that it has the benefit of being like, yeah, we do have a, in later seasons, we have a pretty consistent narrative through line, but then there's also like little 15 minute can things, you know, that's like Din doing fuck all and then at the end somebody asks like hey where's jake and he's like oh he's been with me the whole time and he's like a little mini jake and, and he farts poses on him farting like it's <laughs> it's fun it's just it, it'll it'll surprise you with how much it'll make you laugh and cry and and all the other uh feelings we have feelings here <sighs> so i think our our Winner in perpetuity uh, uh, until you factor in Jackie Chan Adventures, which is the actual winner. Hey, that's that's a good that's a good point. I'm just saying it's probably the greatest cartoon ever made. Uh, Adventure Time wins. So there you go. 
Well, I'll throw in like a little confetti, yeah, confetti. section. There you go. Uh, Zach, that's that's all I had. Did you did you have anything else you wanted to add? Oh, no, God, no. <laughs> oh, you're done. You're done for the day. <laughs> that's uh, fair. We always, we always go long on these listicle. It's it's fine. It's it's we're only at about an hour and a half. It's fine. Yeah. Zach, thank you so much for helping me figure out the solution to this problem. Even if we had to have a little help. Uh, I feel like we used our lifeline a little too early. Should have waited until the end, but eh, whatever. Um, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, this has been the Good Goose Podcast. Remember, you can follow us here. You can follow us on YouTube. You can follow us on social media. That includes TikTok or Instagram or Twitter. You can find us anywhere by searching Good Goose Inc. or by clicking the little uh, icon at the bottom of the screen here. But uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time.